Oh, uh, I wanted to show something off. I'm not sure if I've seen anyone else really doing this or not. I'm sure people are, but there's like a there's a little alternate way to play the hand cannon. So I saw this nice little new fire weapon that they made here, and um, put all this on here: the fire wilt, stroke fury, sleight of hand, desperation, speed heat, and we've got a pretty standard um, kimono build over here. And I had all these nice little fire flame wielders, fire boosters. So I threw those on there. A lot of them have desperation on there. So that was pretty sweet. Uh, and then what I did was do what I usually do when I was using them. So instead of using like a, just lasers, because sometimes it's a pain in the ass to laser if you, can't, if you don't have a chain trap off if you're not in a group. So you can do this other little cool sequence that I figured out that has been going pretty well. Uh, it's it's not horrible at all. It's, uh, it's a little bit quicker paced, I think. You don't have to be sitting in your little circles or anything because it doesn't matter. So that part's pretty cool. And, uh, I don't know, it's pretty entertaining. So let's fight a couple of these kimono and see how it goes, which is good. So we'll start with one of these bad boys, Celestial Anchor. And then we'll start helping him in with this anchor move. Then when we get to three... Pop up here. And then you go right back into it. Oh. Back up. See, what's nice about this is it has a lot of uh, stun. Obviously, it didn't stun him there. But pretty straightforward. I'm the Death Stalker. Nice. It's on fire. Sweet. The thread. fire thing? Can you hit the fire thing? There you go, buddy. Woo! Clever girl. Bye-bye. Oh, we need more thread. over here. <laughs> no, I'd rather, you, I'd rather you didn't. I would much rather you did not do that, as a matter of fact. 
Oh, he's got the dodge. Oh, I missed my throat. Yikes. You know that all to yourself. Here we go. I keep losing my threads. Please, please, please. Here, Mr. Krabs. box. Well, I don't know what that's all about. Alright, well, let's just heal this up real quick. He's just about dead. Start this fight. We got a torch, anchor, in, fire, in, fire, in, fire. Bounce out one more time. Jump up here in your box. And you go back in. Try not to get hit like that. <laughs> Charge is pretty full, so we'll do another box. We can someone. There we go. Hit this anchor again. Fire. Got back out. The box. And go back in. Fire, in, fire, in, fire. Come on, get the box. Okay, good. Another anchor. In. Your fingers are faster. You can do this way faster than me. Look at all the stun it does, though. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is such a simple routine to do. It reminds me of the character staff. Come on, get that, please. too bad. So we'll just put an anchor here, get that extra fire damage, up here, bang, boom, boom, boom. See that little animation does there? Boy. Troublesome. Oh um, boy. Don't to take those heals. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, we're 
can not wait that. Somewhere, where'd it go? Or grab this one. Box. Bunker. Is everybody running away? So much done. Oh my god. He can't handle this at all. Oh, this is going good. Yeah. How about that? Pretty straightforward fight. If you built this appropriately, you would have um, a lot more DPS. Like you'd probably want like um, more of those sleight of hands and the the whatever the coordination furies and stuff like that. Those would probably be pretty helpful for this build, but also just flat damage. So the flat damage that we're mainly getting out of here is fire will, one stroke, desperation, uh, sleight of hand fury. Um, we have speed heat on there that. One 13% speed heat, like you see that when you do one, two, three volleys on them, it gets it pretty close to the, the end right there. So you can get a nice full charge shot on them when you jump off the box. I don't know what it looks like without that. I've not tested it. I have, no <laughs> I have no plans of testing it that way, but it works out pretty good. But you can do whatever you wanted. You could, instead of making this a fire weapon, turn it into a, uh, like this Hawkeye gun or this... You know this speed heat one over here with the inversion attack um anything would be anything would be fine you know anything would be fine with this so you can do whatever you want you can definitely go flat damage though no problem but and i took for me for this fire build i took this little path down here so i could grab the fire wilt and then come over here and grab the one stroke fury which i'm starting to fall in love with the one stroke fury and then grab this desperation and then you know click right down there so that's the path i took you can do whatever you want. So, yeah, I mean, if you're thinking cannons like a, a weird, slow, <laughs> monog monotonous weapon, then give this a shot. And if you like it, cool. If you don't, whatever. It's fine. Everyone can like different things. Okay, peace. <laughs>